All right, hey everybody. Once again, this is number two. I just want to let you know that this video was brought to you once again by Big Fraud Custom T-Shirts. Yes, I'm Matthew Hall. So let's hope again that we have a good season and everything goes well. Stay safe, everybody. All right, guys, so we are here at William A. Shomo Field at McKee Stadium, where we have a victory to talk about. Yes, the Jayhawks came here last Friday and played Frazier on Hall of Fame night and won with a score of 60 to 14. The Jayhawks were pretty close to perfect on every aspect of the game. Of course, we could talk a little bit about what they could tweak, but I it was a win, it was Hall of Fame night, it was at home. There, this is pretty much your picture perfect game. Nine, nine is the magic number. That is how many times the Jeanette Jayhawks found the end zone. It is an insane number coming from, you know, we had a small team that was rebuilding with a new coach and they showed up. It goes to show you that even though we're small, we're mighty. And you know the famous saying, it takes a little bit more to be a Jayhawk. 288 all-purpose yards. That is almost double of what we've had so far this season. Plus, Noah Sanders found the house on some kick returns. So that is two sides of the ball that is almost perfect. Of course, we, we did miss a couple blocks here and there, but that will come with time. And of course, we did have some people on injured reserve that were coming back. So I really don't have much to critique here. Defensively, of course, yes, we did let up a lot of rushing yards, but you know what they say, bend don't break. And that's just what the Jayhawks did. They stopped them when it was necessary. We got to see a lot of play from the freshmen who did show some promise there too. I'm looking forward to watching these players develop as, as well as our starters develop more as a team because as everybody knows, once you're a Jeanette Jayhawk, you're a part of a big family. This week, the Jayhawks travel to Charleroi to take on the Cougars. I do look for a little bit more competition on the opponent side, but I don't think the Jayhawks are going to take their foot off the gas pedal. Coach Ballone got his first win with this Jayhawk team, and I look for a lot more to come. So Jayhawk fans, I look for you to come out and support your Jayhawks as they get ready for that second victory. All right, guys, so we are here with starting quarterback Peyton Moulter. How are you doing with it today? Good. How are you? Pretty good. How was practice? It was good. We had a good day. Yeah. Offensively, defensively, good day. It's pretty hot out there now, huh? Yeah, it is. Are you ready for football season weather? Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we want to talk a little bit about the, you know, this is your first win as a starting quarterback. You went the whole way through the system as, uh, as backup quarterback and obviously playing some on defense as well. Um, so can you just tell me what – this game means to you to put up a win at home for the Hall of Fame uh, team to come in and you know just show up for the city. It means a lot. We, yeah. The team we have Hall of Fame came here. Yeah. I mean, it meant a lot to win this game. And yeah. Put up the points we did. It meant a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So me and my husband, who is also my cameraman and my editor, were talking. Two, the last two games, you found the end zone five times. And you were saying before, you don't really think about your stats, but now sitting here and me telling you you scored um, 30 points in the last two games, well, how does that, like, how does that feel in your it's, head? It's crazy. I, I didn't, I didn't, never thought of that. No. Yeah. And then also in the last two games, you've had over 100 all-purpose yards yeah. in each game. Yeah, it's... So you are – You've become a leader on this team. Obviously, we have two seniors who are also great, but you've become one that this, the younger players are starting to look up to. What does that mean to you as well? It means a lot. Yeah. It, it means a lot that they're looking up to me, and I uh, hope I'm doing my best to make them. Well, you also have a sibling on the team, correct? Yeah, I do. And then you had an older sibling play too, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, as we were talking to Noah last week, do you think you are faster than your siblings? Faster than one. Uh, yeah, faster than Ashton, the younger one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, um, do you think you've um, surpassed Bailey in passing yards yet? Or, or I'm sorry, receiving yards. He was a wide receiver. Uh, I think I have more passing yards than he does at receiving yards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only up from here, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so going into this week versus Charleroi, you guys had pretty much a picture-perfect game. Um, what do you look 
is there any aspect that you look to fine tune this week, you know, it's a little bit of a different team. You obviously don't have the hometown crowd on your favor. What what do you what are you thinking about for this week? We need, we need to execute on offense, yeah. defense. We need we can't have them as many rushing yards as they did last yes, week. We need yes. to shut that down and then keep executing on offense. We had a great great game on offense last game. So you are not like I said now starting quarterback. <laughs> Whenever you go into the huddle and you call the play, who's the First person you're thinking about hand, either handing or throwing the ball to? Michael Mason. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is he, uh, you know, kind of like your Heath Miller type? Yeah, he's, he's a huge player. He's yeah. Receiving, running back, great player. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like we do every week, we know about your on-the-field play. So, off the field, you're headed to an away game. What's what's your first uh, song going to be on your playlist? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Do you have an artist that's a go-to artist? Probably uh, Polo G. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, and then, you know, do you grab some snacks on the way to the game? Uh, I, I have a granola bar and then I grab a Gatorade. Yeah, um, any any um, pregame rituals? Like, do you have to have a certain meal before you leave or anything like that? Normally home games, my pregame meal is Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah. Comes in clutch all the yeah, time, right? Yep. <laughs> and you'd, you'd like to do anything off the field besides, you know, obviously a lot of your time spent on the field. but <laughs> uh, Watch film. Yeah. Yes. Watch film, watch TV, sleep. <laughs> so are we thinking ahead to college? Do we want to play football in college? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to play football in college. And do you want to play the quarterback position or the safety linebacker uh, position? I, lo I love defense, but yeah. I'm, I'm evolving as quarterback, so yeah. I feel like I could play either or, so whatever they want me yes, to play. Yes, you definitely have the size to yeah. do so as well. So we wish you best of luck this season, and thank you so much. But before we do that, I have um, Big Frog Custom T-shirts sponsors us so you get a jayhawk tv player of the week along it comes with your name and number as well thank you no problem <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching jayhawk tv this week of course if you want to sponsor jayhawk tv please get in touch with me but that does it for this week and we'll see you next week